morning, preschool friends. Happy Monday and also happy Earth Day week. On Wednesday, it's what we celebrate or what we um, call Earth Day. So we're going to be doing a lot of fun things this week to um, make us remind ourselves that the Earth is so wonderful and what we love about the Earth. So before we do a story that I'm going to share with you, about um, an area in the earth. We're gonna do some five deep breaths. So what we, um, I did this on Friday with yoga, but what you're gonna do is trace your hands. Every time you breathe in, you're gonna go up one finger, and then come down the other. And you're exhaling, you'll have the air go out. So go up one finger, and then go down. Up the middle finger, and down. Up the ring finger, and down, up the pinky finger, and down. And another calming thing that we do is we do heart to home. Put one finger on your belly button, the other on your heart, and you're just gonna just breathe and give yourself some nice, like, it's like getting a little heart hug, a little massage right there. I do this when I feel like I need some calm in my body. And then we switch, other hand on your belly button, and the other hand by your heart. All right. All right, friends. Well, I got some new books, and one of them that I got is called this Woodland Book. And I thought this was really good because in Michigan, we have a lot of woodlands around our area. So it would be easy to see this type of habitat. And I will add something to this. There is a, what we call it, a link, a computer link, where you can do more fun things with woodlands, okay? It's called the Woodland Book. So I thought we'll read some of the book today because it's an informational book, and then we'll continue the book the next day. This is really cool. It has, a, in like, all the different parts of the story or the book. It's like a little path of a map. Okay. A woodland can be anything from a vast forest full of thousands of trees to a little wooded area in your local park. Most woods are a mix of different types of trees, along with a tangle of other plants, shrubs, vines, ferns, flowers, and mosses. Many tales, myths, and stories have been set in the woods. Woods can feel dark and mysterious, or exciting and full of adventures. Step between the trees, look up at the tall branches, feel the cool, shady air, and go exploring. There's little side stories here, side information. Ferns often carpet the ground along the woodland flower, wildflowers in the spring. These are ferns right here. I have some in my backyard. All kinds of creatures make the woods their home, from squirrels and birds in the treetops to something creepy crawlies in the undergrowth. If you do visit the woods, make sure you stay safe. Carry a water, carry water, a map, and fully charged phone and never go anywhere without responsible growth up. Don't pick up any plants or flowers and try to leave everything as you found it too. There's a lot of parks where you can do that. This, um, oh, this little symbol highlights an important safety or environmental warning. Some woodlands have trees that are hundreds, maybe even thousands of years old. I think this just has to do with, like, you could do this with the link. I'll explore that a little bit. Maybe we'll go through it together. In a summer woodland, a canopy of leafy branches stretches out to create a shade on the damp ground. Old trees soar high above scrubby brush, bush, bushes, twisting vines, young saplings, and delicate woodland flowers. Look up and down and notice the things around you. The top of the tree is called a crown. Here it says, look out for big birds such as birds of prey like hawks and eagles. Leaves take in light, air, and water to make food to help the tree grow. The vines and wind their way up to try to get to the light. You see the vines are up here? These are young trees or saplings in the back here. A sturdy trunk supports the branches and takes water 
up to the leaves. Feel, smell, and listen to the woods. Close your eyes to let your other senses do the exploring. This makes me think I would like to go to um, Bird Hill, which is by my house, and walk around and feel, smell, and listen. Especially listen. Feel the bark on different tree trunks. What is the texture like? Texture is like, what does it feel? Is it rough? Is it soft? Smell the woods around you by standing still and taking some deep breaths. And it even says, can you tell what the weather has been like? Is the ground still wet? Is it dry? What do you smell in the air? Listen what you can hear. Some animals such as deer have big ears so they can hear things from far away. Cup your hands over your ears to make your own deer ears. I think later this week, or maybe tomorrow, I'll go on a little walk and we can do something like this. All right, friends. I wanted to show you. Oh, I wanted to show you. So there's different animals in here. You can see. What do you see there? Yeah, there's a woodpecker. And you see the deer. And you see that there's a squirrel. Um, down here. Oh, I thought, oh, that's, that's scat. I like saw some beetles for a second. Oh, here's the, there's a bumblebee by the flowers. There's another one. There's a few more out now. Here's some, some of these might hear things falling from the trees, like the pine cones. You know, I love the woodlands, and I think it's something we can discover and explore. Maybe even in your own backyard, too. Another thing you can do is with a brown paper bag, you can draw an earth poster. Now you could draw with words or with a picture. You could draw a picture of the earth. You could paint it. You could draw a picture of something you love about the earth and you can write about it. So here I wrote the words, I love the earth. And I could write, I love the earth's animals. I love the earth. Um, trees. I love the Earth's oceans. I could also write this kind of important word. It gives you a reason why you love the Earth. Someone might say, I love the Earth. And I say, well, why do you love the Earth? And I can say, I love the Earth because, you're right, it is my home. I, have the, I love the Earth because I want to take care of it and make sure it's beautiful and clean. Or you can write, I love the earth because I have so much fun playing in nature. So I would love to see a poster. Maybe you could draw a poster and put it up by your window so when people walk by, they'll know that it's Earth Day and you'll, they'll see your Earth Day poster. All right, friends. I would love to see what you're all doing. That would be um, such a great way to celebrate Earth Day with um, Earth Day posters. I'm going to start working on mine, and I'll show it to you soon. All right, have a great day.